Hello, my wonderful, amazing artist. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And in celebration of Dinosaur Week, we're making art inspired by paleontologists. Those are the scientists that research dinosaurs. Those are the people that are out in the field with shovels and tools trying to figure out what dinosaurs look like. And the way they did that was they studied fossils that feature their bones and their footprints, because that's what's left behind. And they used their observation skills to create, to figure out what dinosaurs looked like from that evidence. So they used scientific hypotheses to figure out what dinosaurs look like, and I think that's pretty cool. And today we're going to make art inspired by fossils. For this project, you need a cardboard box that you can cut with scissors. Some scissors. I have these giant ones, but you can use regular ones. And a glue stick. You also need either a pencil or a crayon and some paper. Let's get started. I recommend using a box like some cardboard like this. This is one layer of cardboard and you can cut through it with a scissor. And you can use something like this, like this crackers box, and just break it down into some flat pieces like this. Next, we're going to think about what's left behind for our dinosaurs. Footprints, bones, things like that are what the dinosaurs left behind for paleontologists to tell us. So now we're going to cut out some shapes. So this is kind of a 3D sculpture. We're going to pick up, cut out one base of cardboard like this rectangle here, and then we're going to use our scrap pieces to cut out shapes that look like they could maybe be a dinosaur fossil. So, this is my base piece, so I'm going to set this one aside. I'm going to leave this the way it is and not cut into it at all. Now, with these little bits and pieces, I'm going to cut out shapes of dinosaur footprints and Bones, but before I do, I have to draw them so I know what shape they look like. And you can keep it very simple. And then, see, here's a dinosaur footprint. Here's some more footprints. I really like drawing the footprints. Those are cool. Pretty easy shape, too. It's like a U shape with a zigzag. Then you're going to cut them out very carefully. I carefully, I went to my recycling bin and picked out cardboard that I knew I could cut with this scissor. Okay, now that we have our fossil shapes cut out, we're going to glue them onto our piece of paper. Uh, here I have my pieces cut out and glued. Pretend we're actual paleontologists in the field, out in the rocks, trying to record fossil information without hurting the fossil or the environment by creating a rubbing. Now this will work with a pencil or a crayon. I'm going to try a pencil. Ready? We're going to have a piece of paper over top, and if you feel it with your fingers, you can still feel something under there. 
I'm going to do a rubbing and see if the shapes come out. Kind of like Mr. Men showed you guys with the tree. You can do the same thing here. And this will look even cooler if you have a colored pencil or something like that. I just am using my regular old pencil. See? You can see the shapes a little bit. Let's go over the skull a little more. So not only do you have this cool thing, you also, which is like a 3D sculpture, you can also make two-dimensional art by doing a rubbing. Isn't that cool? So now not only do we know how to draw dinosaurs really well, we can also try getting inspired by the people that create people that study and research our dinosaur friends. Ta-da! Ta-da! I hope you give this a try. I had a lot of fun getting inspired by dinosaurs this week with you guys. Bye! Have fun making art! <laughs>